Good day. Aussie funds are blowing gear going. Uh, good day, guys. Today we're going to be doing some work on the pomegranate bonsai that I've shown before. I've had this tree for many years. I got it from my mate Phil. Um, Phil is the same guy that I go to uh, the Adelaide bonsai show with. And me and Phil, when I went to go and see his mum one day, his mum, beautiful old lady, nearly 100 now, I think. Um, she gave me this pomegranate, which was just a stick. And I planted it in the ground at my old house and grew it for probably six or seven years in the ground, dug it up and then here it is. So pretty cool. Um, I've had it, as you can see, it's grown at one side. I've had it too shaded on this side. My bonsai benches are way too crammed up. And as a result, because they're crammed up, there's no light on that side of the tree, it all grows out the other side. I should rotate it or build some new benches or something. I've got to do something. But anyway, it'll be all right. It hasn't died yet. So what I'll do now is we'll trim it back today and then I'll put the sun back on the other side of the tree. And we'll maybe try and find a better position for it. But pretty cool tree, pomegranate. Um, Obviously, it's a fruiting tree, flowering and fruiting. Um, and flowering and fruiting trees make really, really cool bonsai, especially when you get something like the pomegranate, where the flowers actually form on fairly new growth. And the fruit form really close to the tree. So that's a really cool aspect of the pomegranate. And they also get beautiful <coughs> chunks on them root bases uh, which I'll show you after show you after how it's going but basically we're just going to get in here and trim the tree back just shorten off some of the longer branches and if there's three obvious ones from any location I'll get rid of one or a big knuckle that's starting to form but in general I'm just going to shorten everything back to make it look nice and then it will expose fruit more because Basically, in winter, it's a lot easier to see where you got three from any one location. So probably late winter is when I'll really go through and choose where all the branches originate from, uh, when it's easier to see. So we're last couple of weeks of summer here. Um, so it's still okay to do this work. So we'll get to it today. This tree's still looking pretty good, pretty healthy. Um, the fruit on it's nice and shiny. So yeah, I reckon we get into it and give it a bit of a trim. So yeah, I've got this tree from... I'll just bring you guys in closer. So I've got this tree from Phil's mum. And planted it in the ground. And basically all that's happened since is let it grow on the ground for six odd years. <clears throat> Trunk chopped it in the ground. I let it regrow again after I trunk chopped it. And then basically I think, I can't remember whether we had to move house, that's when I dug it up, or whether this is actually been in training for another four or so years. So I've probably had this one. I mean, hell, I've been into bonsai for nearly 13 years now. Um, I've probably had this one for close to 10 years at least now, I reckon. From a stick, just put it in the ground six years, cut it back, <clears throat> finally dug it up, and probably, yeah, probably would be four to five years in a pot now. Amazing how time flies when you're having fun. But yeah, pomegranates are a super, super cool tree to have as a bonsai. Small foliage, strong growers, you get beautiful flowers, and you also get this fruit, which hangs really close to the tree, so really cool. Really cool species to work on, the old pomegranate. 
And I'm just going to come in here and chop back everything to just a really short node. So where it divides into two, I'm just going to cut it a little bit longer, which just increases all the branching of the tree. So I'll just cut them all just that little bit longer than, you know. So if they, if they come from here and then they extend out, I'm just going to cut them in quite short here, as long as there's a node. So that way I get to keep a bit of extra growth. I'll, I'll bring you guys in close, show you what I mean. Okay, I'll spin it. I'll spin it to the back and we'll come in real close. Close as we can here. Bring you guys up. Somewhere where we can see it well. Maybe down here. Or up here. Maybe up here. I'll do this one down here first. Sorry guys. So here you can see a lot of the other growth didn't really elongate too much. Just a little bit. You can go in there and nip that top off if you want to. But you can see where this one here is grown out. It's actually a, an internode back there. And another one there. This one here is probably in the refinement of this tree starting to get too far out so I'll probably cut it back to this very first small one in here same with this one here the other one hasn't grown this one's grown a bit I'm going to cut it back to a very short internode in there dogs are barking outside another one cut back nice and short so you can see where it came out here and it's been cut back nice and short now so let's go back up to the top here hmm. I don't know what happened there it flipped, flipped the screen <laughs> okay so here you can see this is where it comes out of the main one it goes into this little one here so we just want to come in here and chop it back with a short little stub there and chop. Same with this one. You can see there's two have grown out of here. So that's where it divided. You want to come in here and chop it short. And then chop the other one short there. And then you've got two more bits of ramification. The leaf on there is pretty bad. It's been eaten by a bug. So one... I guess disadvantage about living out in the bush like I do would be that if you do get a bug infestation you don't have neighbours with bushes and garden plants and stuff for the bugs to eat so they'll be definitely going for your stuff since I've been here I've had more bugs been living here I've had more bugs more infestations more fungus as well than I ever had in town but that's fine it's all good the trees are still growing through it just fine just you know let you guys know that if you do live out and you've got the only bit of green in the district the only bit of green for miles around the bugs are going to come like a honing beacon and you just have to be prepared to deal with it or wait for some, uh, you know, birds or something to come and eat the beetles or whatever you've got attacking things. Put your glass back down now. Keep trimming it. You can see here's a leaf out of another tree. So we're getting pretty close. You can see there wasn't a lot to trim on this tree. Trim back nice and short. But yeah, this pomegranate really has um, grown pretty well for me. I've never really had a problem with it. And yeah, being a flowering tree, it just adds a bit of extra interest in your bonsai area. 
with the flowers and the fruit. So we'll give you guys a bit of a close up of the fruit after. And like I say, next time this goes out, I'm gonna put the sun on the other side of the tree or maybe even try and get it to go around the whole tree. And I've also gotta be mindful too, I think my watering, automatic watering system might be over watering trees because we've had quite a mild summer. Not too many really hot days and it's been quite humid. And I haven't really adjusted for that. Normally, you know, you can't water enough to keep up with it, but this year has been a lot better on the water as far as the trees haven't needed so much. And I haven't really adjusted my system for it and I feel like I'm just getting to water things a little bit too much. So I'm going to have to back it off, keep an eye on it, which is fine. Just got to always keep an eye on your trees and just make sure things are going good. Just go in there, look at them, check how wet the soil is all the time. If it's too wet all the time, well, you know, back off your watering system a bit, you know. Pretty cool, pretty cool little tree. So I'm pretty happy with that. So I'll probably leave it at that and then come back in in winter and do some more detailed cutting once all the leaves have dropped off. These are deciduous, but not for very long for me um, because our winters are so mild. These barely go deciduous and then they're already regrown. Um, but yeah, super cool tree. I'll give you guys a spin like that. I'll just bring you guys down a bit because you're a bit high. Okay, guys, so there's the trim of the tree. Cheers to Phil's mum for the uh, pomegranate. It's going along really great. Beautiful, beautiful root system there. Just loving life. Really, really happy with how it's going. It looks super cool with these fruits on it. So if you don't have a pomegranate, give one a go. Make an absolutely perfect bonsai. And they look awesome with flowers too.